there's a, a need there and, and a gap that we need to fill. When it comes to higher education in Tennessee, the majority of people say they want more access in rural areas of the state. That's according to a new study released yesterday. State funding and programs are aiming to create more rural options. But as reporter Katie Emmett explained, educators say there are some hurdles in the way. 78%. That's how many people who took WGU Tennessee survey think there should be more access to higher education in rural areas of Tennessee. 78% isn't surprising to me. It's a little disappointing, actually, because I think the bar for any student, whether it's rural, urban, or suburban, should be set much higher. That's Dr. Jared Bigham with the Tennessee Rural Education Association. He says there are needs that have to be filled in rural areas, like high-speed internet access. One of the few hurdles that rural communities face right now is just that geographic isolation. Kimberly Eastep with Western Governors University says, the pandemic made closing the digital divide more important than ever. And there are talented people in every zip code, and we want to make sure we create a level opportunity playing field that includes people who may be in our more rural communities. Walter State Community College opened satellite campuses in Cock and Claiborne counties to implant higher ed into rural areas and invest in communities. It's not just to train them to go out and do something. In, a, in the current industry, it's also to train them to be entrepreneurs and big thinkers and to get out there and really to grow that community. Even with accessibility, it's important to know what options are out there for scholarships, both for high schoolers and adults. TN.gov slash college pays has a full list of applications. I'm Katie Inman reporting. Now UT also hopes to create more affordable rural education options. The plans to merge with Martin Methodist College in Middle Tennessee are in the final stages.